Hey friends, it's Miss Brandy again. Welcome to the month of April. Did you have a lot of fun with March's kit? I did too. All right, I wanna say congratulations to our winner of our special prize last month. I had a lot of fun sending you your box of goodies and I hope you like all of them, okay? Now, are y'all ready to see who won this month? Okay, get ready to open your box on the count of three. Okay, count with me. One, two, three, open your box. All right, if you found one of these, it's a party blower, <laughs> you are the winner this month. And on the inside of your lid, it should say winner, yay. Congratulations. Be sure to have a grown up give me a call and I will send your box of goodies to you, okay? Congratulations again. All right. Everybody else, I'm sorry if you didn't win last month or this month. I promise you there will be plenty more chances to win. Maybe next month you might get it, okay? All right, now let's get down to business. Let's see what's in our box for this month. First, you will see this yummy little treat, an airhead. I love airheads. I wonder what flavor you got, yeah? Okay, so be sure to ask a grown-up before opening this and make sure that it's okay if you can eat it and if you can have it now or later, okay? Be sure to ask. All right, that's my little treat from me to you. Next, you should have a green marker and a blue marker. You should have a bottle of brown paint. Now, if you take the lid off of this, you'll see that it's not an ordinary bottle of paint. I wonder what this white fuzzy tip is. I will show you later, okay? It's gonna be a lot of fun. Then you should have a paintbrush, and you should have a tube of chapstick. No, it's not chapstick. It's a little mini glue stick. All right, that's cute, huh? Then you should have some pink paint and some yellow paint and then a bunch of little yellow triangles. All right, what, what, how many sides do triangles have? Let's see, one, two, three, and three angles. That's a triangle, all right. You should have a whole bunch of them. Then you should have some bubble wrap. All right, I know how fun it is to pop the bubbles on this bubble wrap, but please don't do it yet, okay? We're gonna need it for a project and we need them not popped, okay? Please don't pop them. Just set it to the side, okay? Then you should have what looks like two ginormous cupcake liners. Do you remember the cupcake liners that we used last month? Yeah, this looks like giant ones. Could you imagine if you had a cupcake that big? Mm. <laughs> All right, but they're not cupcake liners. They are coffee filters, okay? So we'll just set those to the side for now. Then you should have half of a paper plate. Then you should have a bottle and then a little, what looks like a little squirt gun here. Now, grown-ups watching this, if you would so kindly trim off any extra tube uh, on the nozzle, we cut a good bit of them off. They were very long, um, but you can't sit there and measure 425 of them. It just takes too long. So if you do me a favor and just trim off any excess that may still be on there and then fill up the bottle with just a little bit of water, you don't have to fill it up all the way, okay? And these can be saved for other projects. Maybe we'll do uh, another project with it another month. Then you should have a bunch of colorful, bright pieces of paper that have all of the rainbow colors in them. Yeah? All right, can y'all help me name all the colors of the rainbow? Okay, get ready. There's red and orange and yellow and green and blue and purple. Some say violet. Yeah, it's the same thing pretty much, in my opinion anyways. Fun. Now, that paper is very easy to tear, so please be very gentle with it, okay? Next, you should have a big blue square piece of paper and another big square that is black. 
All right, I am ready to get started on this month's projects. Are you? Yay. Okay, let's get started. Okay, for our first project, we are gonna make a colorful sun with a rainbow dripping down from it. Okay, for this project, you're gonna need all of your colorful rainbow strips of paper, your yellow triangles, your glue stick, your yellow paint, your paper plate, and your paintbrush. And it'll probably be pretty handy to have some paper towels or something else that you can get paint on, okay? All right, so first I'm gonna take my rainbow paper and just set it over to the side along with my yellow triangles. Just gonna set them right over there out of the way and my glue stick. I'm gonna grab my paper plate and my paintbrush and my paint. I'm gonna take the lid off very carefully. If there's paint on the lid, just be very careful when taking it off, okay? Now, we're gonna paint this paper plate on the curved side, so uh, not on the side that you would eat on, but on the back side, okay? So it should curve over. All right, I'm gonna just dip my paint brush into my paint, get a good bit on there, see, just like that, and I'm gonna start painting. Just like that. Silly me, I'm supposed to put this on the paper towel. Goofy, goofy, goofy brandy. All right, be sure to have it on your paper towel or the surface that you're working on. Keep working your paint all around the paper plate. Now when you're done painting this, we're gonna have to let it dry for a little while. I know I always make y'all wait before you can move on to something, but sometimes things just need to dry. There's no getting around it. Probably get some on your fingers and that's okay. It washes right off. This is washable paint. All right, now it's important not to have any big globs of paint anywhere. You just want a smooth, even surface of yellow paint, okay? All right, now that I have all of this I'm gonna wait for it to dry, and then I'll see you back here when yours is dry too, okay? All right. All right, now that the glue has dried on your yellow paper plate, you're going to turn it over to the white side. And you're gonna take your glue stick, open it up, and twist it until you got some sticking up, okay? All right, now on this flat side, on the flat edge, you're going to rub your glue stick on it. Get it all nice and sticky, just like that. You come up about that, that much, okay? All right, when you're done, roll it down, lid back on, okay? And just set that to the side. You're gonna need it again in a little while. Now you're gonna take your colorful pieces of paper and you're gonna start putting them on here like this. I'm gonna start with red and put it right down just like that, just the end of it. You see? I know it's hard to see that white on white. Actually, let me take it off of the paper towel so you can see it better. There you go, that's better. What comes after red? Orange. I'm gonna put that right next to the red. Okay, what comes after orange? Yellow. All right, then it's green. What comes after green? Is it purple or is it blue? That's right, it's blue. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down right there. 
and then purple or violet as some people call it all right now isn't that pretty Ooh, rainbows all right take your glue stick again this time you're going to run your glue along this curved side okay just rub 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 just like that okay roll it down cap back on now we'll save that for your earth day project in a minute okay all right now you're going to take some of your triangles make sure I just have one here take one of your triangles and on the flat side not the pointy side you see this a point these are going to be the rays of the Sun okay so I'm going to take my flat side and that's what I'm going to put down on the edge where I just put the glue can you see that can you see how I did that I'm going to take another one and put it right beside it Just like that and then keep going all the way around kind of rub it in there I'm gonna put a little bit more glue this one's already starting to dry a little bit and that's fine if you do it too just keep rubbing Put as much glue on there as you need. You want these to stick real good. Just like that. only one little tiny spot left so I'm gonna put one of my smaller ones over here okay now that you have all of your triangles on and your rainbow paper on we're gonna let this glue dry for a little while before we move it okay all right I'll see you back in a little while all right now that all that your glue has dried we're going to turn it over and lay it down ta-da happy sunshine and rainbows fine that's very cheerful isn't it all right now you can be done with it as it is or if you want you can take a marker and draw a face on it if you want to i think i'm going to make a little half circle right there with some eyelashes pointing down and another one and then a little smile just like that <laughs> she's happy alrighty I hope you've had fun making your sunshine and rainbows and I hope it brings you a lot of joy and happiness when you look at it okay moving on to the next project All right, for our next project, this is going to be for Earth Day. Earth Day is every April on April 20th. It's a day that we celebrate the Earth and all that the Earth provides for us um, and how beautiful it is. And it's a great reminder of how we should protect it. Just like we did last month with the Lorax, um, we always want a gentle reminder that the Earth is our home and we must take care of it. So for this project, you're going to need your water bottle with a little bit of water in it. You're going to need your blue and green marker and your two coffee filters and your black piece of paper. All right, just set that to the side. Again, it would be useful to put this project on a paper towel or a paper plate or some other surface that you can move 
um, because you're going to need to let it dry too. Okay, so I'm going to get started. You're going to take one of your filters and separate them. All right, and you're going to lay it flat on your work surface. All right, just like that, flatten it out. I know it's hard to see, but as I color it, um, you'll see what happens, okay? So we all know that when we look at a picture of the earth, what two colors is it mostly? Green and blue, right? So I'm gonna take the green, and this is gonna be our land, right? All of our countries and continents, yeah? So I'm gonna say just a tiny little bit right here and now you don't have to do it exact you don't have to make it look just like the earth and you don't have to color in every little bit of this okay but you do want to make sure that you get a good bit of marker on there see how i'm doing that i'm just putting some on there and then i'm going to come down here i'm going to make another one just another green shape on there Right, and I'm gonna come over here, I'll make another one. Maybe I'll come down like this. All right, that's looking pretty good. Put your lid back on your marker. Now take your blue and color in the space in between all the green. Now, before you start doing that, I should say you don't have to put the green right up on the blue. They don't have to touch. You can leave some space because when we work with this water, everything's going to spread out, okay? So you don't have to color every bit of it. So I'm just going to take my blue and I'm just going to start putting some down in the white areas that are left. Gonna go around my green. You're doing great. Go around the edges. It helps if you color with the side of the marker instead of just the very tip kind of go on the side now you see how that's starting to look like a picture of the earth yeah all right caps back on when you're done I'll give you a moment to finish if you need it all right okay whenever you're done take your water bottle and have a grown-up make sure that it is in the open position or that it sprays. You can test it by gently just going. All right, so we got a little bit of a spray coming out. Okay, now hold your sprayer up above your picture of your earth and you just wanna spray it, uh, we'll say three times right now, okay? Ready, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's see what happens. All right, not a whole lot, so let's spray it some more. One, two, three. Okay, give it a second, because when it gets wet, it'll start spreading. If you need to spray it some more, that's fine. Get some more water going in my spray bottle here. Okay, let's just wait and see what that does. Ooh, it's starting to spread. Fill in all the areas. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool. And the fun thing is, is that we're gonna get to do this two times. That's why you have two filters. 
We're gonna do two of them, but we're only gonna use one of them on our black paper. So I want you to choose which one you like the most out of the two that you do and put the one that you like the most on your black piece of paper. And you can save your other one to do something else with. I want you to use your imagination, okay? That's very cool. Look at it spreading around. Fun, fun, fun. I'm gonna spray mine just a little bit more. So I wanna make sure that everything gets um, filled in. And look at that, when you lift it up, there's another cool looking earth shape there. How fun is that? All right. Now, I'm gonna let that one dry. I'm gonna set mine to the side and I'm gonna do my other one, okay? All right, so for this one, I'm gonna try something a little different, right? Because we're always learning and experimenting and seeing how different things work with one another. So instead of a paper towel, I have just a piece of paper underneath it and we'll see how it makes a difference and how our project turns out, okay? Now, I've got my coffee filter on top of it and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna color in some green spots for the land. Maybe I'll make a heart right here. Okay. All right, I like that. Come down here, make another shape. Just make all your shapes different, all right? Because none of the continents look the same, really, so we got to make them all look different. All right, I'm happy with that lid back on. I'm going to get my blue and do just like we did on the other one. Color in everything else with the blue. Just be really careful. how the other one's looking. Looks like earth to me. All right, so now I'm gonna get my water after it. Give it a couple of sprays to get it going and then go whoop. I need more water in this. All right, now we'll see how the paper acts differently than the paper towel. second it's starting to spread around cool oh that's so neat you can see it merging together right here that's so cool see not as much as getting stuck to the paper under here than the paper towel did because that's what paper towels do right they absorb all the water very cool all right so have fun with this part and when they dry um, we'll come back and we'll finish our project for this uh, you can help it to dry a little bit faster by letting it let it sit for a while and then have a grown-up help you um, hang it up with some clothes pins on something Okay, look at that, isn't that cool? And then you can always use that for a different project, right? Okay, I'm gonna gently set mine back down right here. Okay, all right, I'll see you back here when they're dry, all right? All right, now that your earth shapes have dried, um, we are gonna check them out and see how they did. This one I'm really, really liking. This one I like too, but I think I like this one a little bit more, okay? So this one, I'm just gonna save for another project. I'll do something else with it. No big deal. That's why we did two of them. 
All right, so you're gonna carefully lift up your coffee filter and it should look like that. That looks like the earth to me. And look how cool that is. You can even see on the outside edges it turned pink and yellow. That looks so cool. I think I'll save that for another project too. I wonder what I'll do with it. I wonder what you'll do with yours. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that to the side. All right, I'm gonna take my black piece of paper and my glue stick. And I'm just gonna make a big old circle. Big circle on my paper. I'm just gonna fill it in. Lots of glue, you want this to stick really, really well. Whoops, need more glue. Lots and lots and lots of glue. Big circle. All right, I think I got enough on there. Cat back on. Then you're gonna take your earth and you're gonna lay it down on that glue and press it in. All right. How cool is that? Now you have the earth and outer space. That is really, really, really fun. Um, you could even take some hmm, white crayon and make little flecks, little spots out here for stars. Or you could take some white paint on a paintbrush, just a little bit, and then flick the paintbrush to make white stars around it too. Or you can just leave it how it is. Okay, I really like how this turned out. Earth is very important to us, isn't it? That's right. Okay, you're all done with this one. You did great. All right, for your last project, we're going to do a cherry blossom tree. Cherry blossom trees are probably my favorite trees when they're flowering because they smell so good and they're so beautiful. This is what they look like. I actually took that picture when I went to Japan um, when they were in bloom, which is a huge event for people that live over there because they're just so beautiful and smell so good. They celebrate Sakura or cherry blossom season. All right, so for this project, you're gonna need your blue paper, your brown paint, your pink paint, your bubble wrap, and after you've cleaned your paintbrush from your sun project, we'll use it again, okay? All right, so I'm gonna take my brown paint and my bubble wrap and my pink paint and set it to the side, okay? Then open up the lid to your brown paint and since you haven't used yours yet before, you can see I've used mine, but I'm gonna show you how to get all the paint on the tip of your bingo bottle. That's what these are actually. They're for playing the game bingo. You use them to mark your spots on your bingo board. But today we're gonna make a tree branch out of it. Not a whole tree, just one of the branches, okay? So on the inside of your box, just take it, turn it up, and then press the tip down until you start to see paint come out. Okay, you see, you just keep pressing it and pressing it and pressing it and pressing it. Maybe squeeze the bottle a little bit, and press some more until you have some paint coming out, okay? All right, I'll give you some time to do that while I explain what we're gonna do. All right, so you have your paper like this, right, in front of you. You're gonna start at one of the edges over here, press down, and then drag your bottle across the page. Not straight across, but you can kind of go up or down or make a zigzag, okay? And then come back down right here on top of the line, press down, and then go upwards and kind of sideways, then lift up, okay? You see how I did that? I just press down and then drug and lift up. I'm gonna do it over here, and this time I'm gonna go down. 
press down, drag across, and go up. Same thing over here. Down and up. I think I might make one more over here. Down and up. And you can make them wavy, okay? And then I think I'll come off of these and make other smaller ones, just like that. Now, if you find where some spots are really light and really dark, you can always go back over it and make it however you want. Just be sure to lift up on the ends because that's what makes it look pointy like a tree branch, okay? Whoop. 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 Perfect. I like that, just the way it is. So, I'm going to stop. I'm going to let you finish. When you are done, be sure to put the lid back on your bottle. Set it to the side. You're done with that part. Okay. I'll let you finish up. Let mine dry a little bit. Okay. Next, we're going to take our bubble wrap and our pink paint and our paintbrush. Now I have a little bit of paint on the lid of my cup, so I'm gonna be very careful when I take it off. Okay, and I'm just gonna set that to the side. Then I'm gonna take my paintbrush and dip just a little bit. You don't have to use a whole lot, just a little bit. You don't have to dip the whole thing in. And on the bubble side of your bubble wrap, the side that you actually feel the bubbles, put that side up and then put some paint on top of it. You don't have to cover the whole thing, just a little bit of it, okay? I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I might have ten or twelve of them covered, okay? I don't have the outside edges done. Set your brush down on your lid. Now take it, turn it over, and put it on one of the ends of the branches and just tap it very gently. You don't want to smash it, just tap it. And then lift up. Ha ha, ta-da! Great. All right, and we're gonna do that again. Just put a little bit more paint in the same spot where you did before. Okay. I think this time I'll go up here, tap, 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 and then lift it up. The bubble wrap is acting like a stamp, isn't it? It's stamping the circles onto your paper. Now, if you have some white paint handy, you could put some white on here with it as well, and that'll make it super special. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Now I've got, I should have waited for my brown paint to dry, but I'm just so excited to put these on here that I started going for it. Um, but if you get some brown in some other places, it's not a tree branch, that's okay. It'll probably get on your bubble wrap a little bit if you don't wait for it to dry, but that's all right. We're having fun, 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 and that's all that matters. All right, how pretty. A little bit more. I think I'll come up here. Awesome. And then you don't even have to paint it really every time. You could just put it down right after you picked up another one. See, there's plenty of paint on there. You just keep coming around everywhere, putting down your paint. Uh oh, got a little bit too much brown on mine, so I'm going to cover it up with some pink. Right. Just like that. Awesome. I bet yours is looking so good. All right, I think I'm gonna do one more. You feel free to do it as much as you want. It's your cherry tree, by the way. All right, I think I'll do one more over here. Maybe one more. Okay, maybe one more. <laughs> this is just so much fun. I don't want to stop doing it. All right, I'm liking that. Yes. Okay, I'm just going to lift it up real here, real close here so you can see it. 
You see how that looks like a tree branch with some pretty pink flowers on it? All right. You have fun making your tree branch look exactly the way that you want it to. Remember, if you don't like how this one turns out, practice on a different piece of paper. It doesn't even have to be blue. You can do it on white, black, gray, green, whatever you want to do, okay? And um, have a lot of fun. You should have plenty of paint left over to keep having fun with this project. Alrighty, thanks for joining me for this one. I hope you had a ton of fun making your projects. You have your cherry tree blossom, your sunshine and rainbows, and your earth for Earth Day. All right, remember if you won the special prize, be sure to contact me so I can send you your stuff, okay? I'll see you back here in May for some more art fun. All right, bye-bye.